Hey y'all, Bunkle here again with another pack opening for you. What I'm going to be doing right now is uh, 1993 first edition Donruss. Now, this set uh, definitely has some serious winners in here. Um, unfortunately, the Chipper Jones is part of Series 2. It's not Series 1, but there is the Mike Piazza rookie. Uh, we also have the chance of finding a Tomei. Uh, Tim Wakefield, for one reason or another, I'm not sure, as well as Tim Salmon. For some reason, seem to book over $100 of PSA 10 right now. Not exactly sure what's going on with those two. Um, but besides that, there's other stars that we could find. Now, the 92 foil packs had a bunch of uh, insert-type cards that were added uh, that we may end up finding here. Um, the Elite Series. Uh, what else? Legends, Robin Yount, uh, those are numbered cards. Uh, Dominators, those are also numbered cards. Uh, I'm not sure if those are in here or not. Uh, but this is really where they started to put uh, different kinds of inserts. Diamond Kings, of course, everybody knows the Diamond Kings. I think everybody that's that's popped uh, wax cards or any kind, any kind of baseball cards from that uh, era, Donruss, uh, even up... Uh, continuing. Uh, Diamond Kings is now a current set as well. Anyway, let's get to opening. I do hope y'all have been having a great day. It's been a phenomenal day with me here. Got the handy dandy knife. I have to find out what happened to the box cutter. Seems to have disappeared after the party, but I'm sure I'll find it again. It's probably on one of my tables or something like that. Now, let's see. New for 93. Spirit of the Game. Look for randomly inserted spirit of the game cards in packs of 93 Donruss. These unique cards capture the common, the emotion and action of the American pastime. Each card features two fronts, a borderless design, a gold foil stamping. Cards 1 through 10 are packed in series 1. So, again, I mentioned that there are insert cards possibility uh, that are numbered. So we may end up finding some today. Thanks much for joining me on this journey down baseball card history lane, that's for sure. Starting off with Keith Shepard, Melvin Yeves, Gino Petrali, Greg Jeffries, now with the Royals. Uh, he was done with the Mets at that point. Again, his career never really panned out the way that everybody thought it would. Kevin Campbell, Steve Decker, Brent Main, Otis Nixon, Mark Kiefer, and it looks like we have some kind of an insert here. Spirit of the Game insert, yes. So let's see what this one is. Turn in two. That's a Spirit of the Game card. Now, I think I've seen these before in the collection box that I did. Um, I think it was, uh, maybe, well... It's definitely one of my other videos, and I'll post it, where they had some of the Spirit of the Game cards in there. But that's a pretty cool card. It's about double plays. I'll, I'll keep that up there just because it's cool. Now, Donruss quality definitely picked up, although you can see centering is still not spot on on many of these cards. Which might be the reason for some of the, uh, the high price values, uh, again, according to uh, PSA's website, um, for Tim Salmon and Tim Wakefield in PSA 10s. If they're cut like that, well, then, yeah, they would be harder to find, I guess. All right, Paul Molitor. Keep that one on the side for myself. Jack Clark and Bobby Witt. All right, we'll keep it moving. Pack number two. Ooh, well, I'll save that for a bit. That might be a very interesting one to me. Donald Harris, Chris Haney, Scott Taylor, Danny Leone, Rico Brogna, Andy Stankowitz. Yeah, I remember he definitely stank with the Yanks. Geronimo Barroa, Dennis Eckersley. Nice Hall of Fame card there. Great to see. Now, this is what the backs look like. You got home plate. You got recent major league stats, just like Donruss always did. A little bit of a note, contract conditions and all of that. 
All right, we have Al Osuna. All right, we got ourselves a nice Frank Thomas. Looks like he's real happy to hit that one. That's a keeper. I'll keep that one up on the on the board. Leo Gomez, Rico Brogna, Bobby Witten. Didn't I? I could be wrong, but I could have sworn I just pulled same exact card. Bobby Witt and Tim Wakefield, rated rookie. That's nice. Well, that might be one reason why it's valued so high. Looks corners nice on that one. Edge is nice, and that looks really well centered. I'm packing and wrapping that one. Again, for whatever reason, that is the number two highest priced card uh, within PSA's guide. Uh, most recent, or I should say the average price uh, that you're seeing on these is about 122 So again, to me, it's not only about the value. The value definitely comes in handy, especially if you want to buy more cards. And sometimes you got to make a trade-off, uh, selling something to get something else. Uh, and uh, you know what? With 122 bucks, that could be a whole lot more packs and boxes. Now, these came, these packs came in the same uh, auction box as I've had a couple other uh, videos on. Uh, the golf videos were in the same box. Um, what else? As was I, the 89 Donruss Rack Pack was in this. So all in all, a good purchase for the price, that's for sure. Got Pat Listack, Troy Neal, Doug Jones, Neon Dion, nice car to him. Ken Hill, Chico Martinez, or Cheeto Martinez, sorry about that, Cheeto. Brett Saberhagen. Really weird position he's in there. He looks like he's kind of leaning forward there. But on his tippy toes and looking straight up. Very weird pop-up. Mike Greenwell. All right, we got another Spirit of the Game card here. And this theme is... Safe at home. Well, that's pretty cool. Trying to capture the spirit of the game. Rico Brogna again. Devon White. Bill Wegman. And Julio Valera. To wrap that pack up. Pack number three here. So all in all, not bad, that's for sure. Now, I would say that uh, maybe, maybe I didn't give Tim Wakefield as much respect as he deserved. Uh, that being his rookie card, it kind of makes sense the value be up there. Got Bill Duran, Roger Mason, Chris Hammond, Paul Wagner, Devon White, Bob Tewksbury, Kevin Koslovsky, Craig Shipley, John Jaha. All right, we got Travis Fryman. Nice action pose there. That's pretty cool. All right, got the flipping going on now. Willie Banks, Bobby Thigpen, Todd Hundley, and Paul Assenmacher. I will not goof on that name. I don't know. There's a million different ways to take that one. Unfortunately, you could absolutely mess with some names of different athletes or different people. And uh, well, we'll be we'll be nice here. We'll definitely stay family friendly. All right, next one. All right, gotta be careful opening that. All right, we start off with Sean Hare. Sean Hare, okay. Turner Ward, Jamie Navarro, Greg Myers, John Patterson, Ron Gant. Uh, I don't know what's going on in that pose, but okay. Scott Erickson, Doug Desenzo, Andy Stankowitz again. Definitely stanking up these packs. 
Milk Collier, Walt Weiss, Mark Whiten. Nope, his hand's inside the line there. Lance Parrish and Steve Shiflett. Getting on to the second to last pack here of these. So far, got the, the Wakefield Raider rookie and uh, the Frank Thomas, as well as a couple of Spirit of the Game cards. Those are definitely nice. Now, these were obviously um, somewhere for sale at one point or another. Uh, they still have the price tag on it. I have no idea what that store is, Roses. Uh, if any of y'all have any information on what Roses is, or I mean, maybe it's some kind of, uh, if, if any of y'all remember Woolworths or anything like that, uh, maybe it's something like that. I have no clue. I didn't look it up. Maybe it's a convenience store. All right, we got Eric Fox, Mark Leonard, Tim Leary, Brian Hunter, and Larry Walker Diamonds Kings. Nice card there. That's the back of the Diamond King card. I'll definitely be holding on to that one there. Pat Henchin, Bill Pakoda, Ben McDonald. He came up with so much promise. There's so many players that you talk about that... I mean, he was supposed to be the next uh, everything as far as pitching goes. Didn't exactly turn out that way as often. It doesn't. Cliff Brantley, Kent Herbeck. I got the flip going on again. Greg Vaughn. Frank Viola, the Red Sox there. Willie Banks and Bobby Thigpen. All right, last one in this bunch. Still a bunch of good finds to be had, that's for sure. Now, the quality of these cards are definitely, definitely up. Uh, Donruss picked up its game and continued to after. Uh, some of their early 80s and uh, late 80s stuff was really horrible looking. All right, we got Brian Holman, Dave Henderson, Kevin Baez. He's looking really happy to have caught that. I mean, that that smile on that face, I, I, that's some really badly posed picture. And I was just talking about the quality. Dan Howitt, Bob Iralt, Paul Sorrento, Darren Jackson, Rob Deere, big time power hitter during those days, Bill Swift. Vinny Castilla. I think that's his second year. Alex Cole. Hector Villanueva. DJ, DJ Dozier. And Jeff Brantley. And that wraps us all up here. So I think we've gotten a couple pretty cool cards out of this quick opening. Uh, again, there were only seven packs of these. But the Wakefield is definitely the keeper in this one. Uh, even the way that they wrote the rated rookie there, the way that they put it in there is really nice. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this quick video. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, make sure you take a look-see through the rest of my videos. I've been opening up a lot of really interesting uh, wax pack, rack packs, jumbo packs, all sorts of packs. Uh, baseball, hockey, garbage pail kids. Just very wide selection. Uh, there's also videos that I'm, po I'm posting now and I've, I'm going to continue posting on the reseller life and resale and sourcing and those types of things, as well as just personal life. Who knows what else goes in there? Kind of a variety channel. Anyway, I will be catching up with y'all again soon. Bunkle out. Stay blessed as always. Later.